What's up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt and this is update day. So I'm gonna be breaking down everything you need to know in under five minutes. But hey, before we get into this update's biggest changes, have you been struggling to get on top of your game this season? Well, don't worry, because ProGuides.com might be exactly what you're looking for. From coaches who are ready and waiting 24-7 to help you out, to master courses from the pros, and even an innovative VOD review system, it's never been easier to improve at Fortnite. Go and check out the site now to get started. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the patch notes that Epic Games posted on Twitter last night. First up, over the course of this patch cycle, we're going to be helping Jonesy the First take on Raz. There's a new boss on the map. Raz, and he can be found at the Spire. Defeating him will give you his explosive bow, but be careful because he's got some magical tricks that could give you some serious trouble in the fight. Next from the patch notes, a new bow has made its way onto the island, and this time it's Raven's Unstable Bow. This bow will randomly transform into the Fire Bow, the Shockwave Bow, the Explosive Bow, or the Stink Bow, and can be purchased from Raven for 500 gold. Next up, a new LTM is being added to the rotation, and you'll want to stay low and safe in the Floor Restores LTM. While playing in this LTM, you will slowly regain HP if you're standing on the floor of the map. Next, the remaining primal weapons, makeshift weapons, and the bows have all now been added to Creative, allowing you to practice with them at long last. Finally, and probably most importantly, there have been some major inventory improvements. With this new update, you can now hold the inventory button while you have a craftable item in hand to jump straight to the crafting tab, allowing you to craft weapons quicker than ever. They have also changed the way weapon stats are displayed, and now inspecting an item will show exact numerical values for certain stats like damage and fire rate. If we took a look at the map for this patch, you will notice that there has been one small change. A new location has been added off the southern coast of Flush Factory. It's a very small steaming island currently known in the files as Oro Isle. There's not much there right now, but something tells me that this location might evolve over time. It looks like there's going to be some fun on May the 4th. Star Wars Day will feature the return of the Mando's Bounty LPM, as well as the Mandalorian Mythics and the Star Wars Blaster Rifle. It's currently unknown if any Star Wars themed skins will show up in the shop, but the chances are pretty high. Okay, Fortnite fam, on the subject of skins, it's time to take a dip into the vials to find out what new skins and cosmetics we've got coming this patch cycle. First up, the skins. We've got Deimos, the crew pack skin for May, Pico the Gallant, Zarya the Cruel, Sir Burger, Gia, Scrap Knight Jules, Raptorian the Brave, and then of course Neymar Jr. While it likely isn't anywhere close to release yet, we also now know that Epic are working on a comic or cartoon Meowsel skin. For the backblings, there's Ohm's Mantle, the Scarlet Psy, the Joya Trophy, Tuscan Tooth, Raptor's Way, the Beef Steel Blade, the Buckler Supreme, the Zarian Mantle, and finally for the crew pack, Sorrow's Edge. Up next are the gliders, and we've got two. There's the Batman Zero Wing and the Aerial Acrobat. Harvesting tools next, and we've got the Scarlet Psy once again, but as a harvesting tool this time. The Wing Spanner, the Jaguar Strike, Sorrow's Reach for the crew pack, though there's currently no associated image. There's also the Crossbite Tooth Axes, Durbergian Battle Spatch, Oathmaker's Axe, Chunky Selsax, and the Zarian Slicers. Finally, the Wraps. There's the Doom Echo as part of the crew pack, the BZ Does It, the Friends Forever, and last but not least, the Lantern Glow. Once again, I honestly think that this update was just a little bit subpar. Sure, the new boss fight is fun, but the unstable bow wasn't really what I was expecting, and the new area to the map is literally a steamy bit of sand off the coast. Hopefully, update 16.40 brings us a little bit more. If you want to stay up to date with all the best tips and tricks in the game, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next update. Thank <laughs> you.